everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, the format for this video is a little bit different, obviously. Um, we're at my desk and we're not on my desktop. Um, the setup for this video is very different to my regular videos and I just want to say that now. Um, because it's very DIY'd. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to show you, right? So, I can't connect my microphone to my phone because... That's my microphone. There it is. Hello, microphone. You can't see my hand. Hello, microphone. Um, so it's connected to my computer, <laughs> my laptop. There's my Huey on, by the way, in case you were wondering. Um, so I'm going to record the audio separately from the video. And we're going to see if that works. It might not. Um, the <laughs> I made this, by the way. This wooden thing. I made this. Just so we're aware. Um, but yeah, that's not what I want to show you. So then we have my markers here. Sketchbook here. Things to draw with there. DIY tripod. <laughs> this is what the phone's on. Um, and my uh, pencils are back there. That's my wardrobe. Don't look at it. Um, so that's what we're working with. Uh, if I can put this back the way I had it, this might have been a bad idea. <laughs> okay. So I thought for this video, this is just going to be like a tester for the like acrylic trying to teach myself acrylic videos but um we will see how this works it might be terrible um i'm going to buy a microphone adapter and an actual tripod yeah where the f where's my pencil hold on You know, it would be great if I did an art video with an actual pencil. One second. Oh, do you know where my pencil is? It's in the DIY tripod. <laughs> Thank you. I have to swap it with something I'd say, maybe. Oh, no. No, it's fine. Okay. So, here's my sketchbook, by the way. Isn't it so pretty? Um, But, yeah, so I just... Yeah, so I, this is just going to be a chill video. We're just going to chat. I'm going to draw. You should sketch with me. Um, I'm probably going to try and do like a lot of talking in this video. But if I don't talk, I will fast forward it probably. I don't know. I don't even know how I'm going to send this video from my phone to my laptop. But we'll see. We'll get it there eventually. I don't know if it's going to work. But we'll see if it works. And if it doesn't work, we'll know for next time, okay? Um, I don't even know what I'm going to draw, to be honest. I didn't really think this through, if I'm honest. But, um... Let's just start. So, anyway, I forgot to include this bit. Probably a good bit to include. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And, um, let's start now. I'm going to have to cut out so much of that intro. I don't know what I'm drawing either, but we'll figure it out as we go. It's just going to be really chill. Hold on. Um, I do realize that also my microphone gain is at 10, which is the highest gain it goes to because I'm so far away from the microphone that it needs to be able to pick me up. But if I go close to the microphone, you are going to hate your life. So let's try not to do that. Um... So yeah, how has everyone been recently? Um, I've been good. Um, my dance show's coming up soon. So that's a bit stressful, because I don't think I'm ready, but we'll just pretend we are for now. Um, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really have much news. I kind of tell you my news weekly, so I don't, not much has happened. My brother's doing his leaving cert. Uh, so far, he said it's been going good, so that's good. Um, 
I still don't know who or what I'm drawing. Um, probably a good thing to decide that now, considering they already have a nose. Actually, if I make the nose straighter, I can do... Okay. Um, I... Yeah, so I, I think, yeah, I'm just gonna doodle for this video. Um, I know all my videos are kind of chill, but trust me, I will be getting, like, the tripod and stuff, and I will be, you know, um, up, first of all, upgrading this very bad setup, and second of all, I'll be, um, doing the series, so expect at least a bit more um niceness in the video see the good thing about me not showing my face in this is that if the audio is ever so slightly off we can get away with it <laughs> i have plans for the summer i'm planning on doing a few animations if i can i don't know how easy that's gonna be i also do not have like I know Krita, I use Krita to draw, for those of you who don't know. And I know it has an animation program, but it's not amazing. Um, like, when I went to the animation studio to do my work experience, and to do the program there, I was, like, the animation software there is so good. They use Toon Boom. Um, they use a bit of Blender, actually, and they actually do use Krita, by the way. They use Photoshop and Krita as their, um, sort of painting softwares. Most of them use Photoshop, I will say, like, most of the, um, background artists and all, when we, like, were talking to them, most of them do use Photoshop. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if all of them did. Um, but... They have Krita on their computers as an option if they want to. That place was great, by the way. Um, part of me doesn't want to say what animation studio because I'm like, will you look, get up and you know I was like an hour or two away, so will you somehow find out where I live? That's a bit scary. I'm scared of the internet. I don't know if you guys have realized that by now, but I quite am. And, um... <laughs> I get, I get it's a bit of a problem if I'm on it a lot, and I get it's a bit of a problem if I don't have- Oh, I do have a rubber. They're behind these guys. These are my screen cleaners. They look real. Why does everything look really fat in this lens? They're not actually this fat. It's fine. Sorry, I'm body shaming them. I really shouldn't. Um, I suppose it's camera angles. It's fine. We'll get better ones in the future. Let me always go back in there a little bit. <laughs> Punch Bambi in the face. Oh. Too harsh a rubber. Different one. Um. Yeah, this paper is really del delicate, so I don't know how it's going to hold up with markers, but we're going to find out, okay? You never know until you try. Um, I might regret deciding that we're gonna find out. I'm just gonna draw this much of them. But, you know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I have a problem. This guy's pale. Uh, probably paler than that, I will not lie. This guy is pale. I'm gonna use that anyway. Um, and... I like putting, okay, I'll use those two for a skin tone, I'll be fine. I like putting undertones in my, okay, that'll do for the blue undertone, actually, in my things before. I'll get, actually have an example, like, on hand, so I'll, I'll show you. Basically, if you look, this is the last marker drawing I did. It's of Sasha from the... Magnus Archives, um, you can see she kind of has a blue tint there, a yellow tint up here, and like a red tint in the middle. I basically, I color, can you see it on the back? Let me try to see it on the back. Yeah, kind of. I basically, what I do, <laughs> this is a wonderful, I love how the back of these pages look once you use marker on them. 
But basically, you can kind of see I put a blue, a yellow, and a red under it first, and then I put the skin tone over. That's how I work it with markers. I don't know if that's going to work on this paper. I, uh, it also works less well, typically, with the lighter skin tones because I don't have very pastel reds. I have pinks, though, so maybe one of the pinks is pastel. Oh, God, no. <laughs> maybe I can use a pink. Yeah, I might work with that, and then I can put blush on them. I don't know. I just don't want to... I have done it with him before and it has worked. It was really stressful though because I had to like layer. Um, so I think I'm just gonna try not kill myself doing it this time. And I'll have to do for yellow, okay. Okay, and how well does this, oh, it's not bad. Okay, it's not bad later. Um, we'll try it. This is a chill video anyway. A few moments later. I don't know, what you're... Ah! you better stop! Stop! <laughs> so, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Listen, we're all gonna pretend that this video was super aesthetically pleasing. Okay, and that nothing bad happened. But as I said, this is an experimental video, so now I know this paper and markers do not mix I probably could have guessed that from the beginning I don't know if I mentioned it at the beginning but I didn't know if it was going to work um, but yeah markers are going on the floor I don't know if you heard that you probably did because this microphone is sensitive as shit right now I cannot remember what the character I have in mind looks like exactly so I'm just gonna like eyeball it and hope um, when I draw hair, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but I really just draw the very basic shapes of it and then sort of like fill in random lines because I think it's cute when I do that. Um, just in case you were wondering how I draw hair, that's how. <laughs> I'll just cut it off there. Okay. Again. <laughs> Hopefully we'll actually be able to do a spread out of this. When I like say I give my characters like different noses and stuff, I really have like three or four defaults of noses and they all fall into one of those defaults. Um Dragon falls into the straight nose category and actually so does Soren. Um and the likes of hold on, I can show you this one actually. Lucille is a bend in his nose like that even though he looks a bit traumatized in this photo for some reason um you can't see it from straight on but you can see it when he's sideways as well um and then like elva and all have like elva and emrys have like more circular shaped noses Those are kind of my three defaults, and then I just change them ever so slightly with different characters. Um, uh, basically, I've noticed like the better I get at art, the more variety my characters have. Like beforehand, I would have drawn all noses the same. Obviously, I don't now, um, but I would have, like. Let's say two years ago, probably, I would say. All my noses would have probably been the same back then. And then if we go even further back, I would have drawn all eyes the same. That would have been three or four years ago now, I would say. Um... And then if we go even further back from that, I would have drawn literally everything the same, <laughs> I would say, just with like different colors. So yeah, I think part of getting better at art is expanding like the like diversity and like your face shapes and like no shapes and things. <laughs> Um, not to say that, that if you don't have diversity and, like, shapes of, like, faces and stuff, that means you're, like, a 
bad artist either because certain styles call for very similar shapes and characters, I suppose. But um, for me anyway, that seems to be the telltale of if I'm getting better or worse. <laughs> um, I feel like you'd see at least a bit of her ear. It's a bit late for her ear. Let's just do that. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Um, I haven't colored with just coloring pencils in so long, so we'll see how this goes. Um, I don't know if this works because last time I did color with just coloring pencils, I'm pretty sure I didn't do the whole undertone thing that I started doing. That's how long ago it's been because I've literally been using undertones for like a year now. So um I don't know. I don't know if I can promise beauty with this coloring job, but you know, we'll see. Maybe maybe we'll surprise ourselves. Um what does this color look like? Eh. Maybe not? I don't know, like... Oh, well that's passion fruit red, so yeah, I was right when I said maybe <laughs> Passion fruit red, yep. Actually, this paper's quite nice for coloring pencils. Um, I've decided right now. It is quite nice for coloring pencils. Not for markers. <laughs> I realize this is textured paper. So she's going to look at the texture no matter what I do, but I kind of want to make her as smooth as possible. Because, you know, women can't have pores. That's pretty. And then we do her hair, which I'm just going to do straight up red first, and then we can uh, get more in detail with it. And I'm going to leave some like lighter spots like this so I can put like a really light color there. Before someone says it, yes, my entire art style is kind of random bullshit go. But you know what? Hold on, I'm moving. But you know what? If that's not what makes art styles beautiful, I don't know what is. I can't wait for like half of me talking to be cut out because editing me was like, no, we're not including that. Um, I need that for later. Pick an orange or a yellow. I get this orange probably. Maybe not. Maybe just a little bit of that orange into a yellow. That'd be nice. Uh, Looks nice. Does it look nice in the camera? Oh, it does kind of look nice in the camera. Actually, in the camera, I've just seen something. She has no shadow here. <laughs> There's so much stuff that I want to get, do you know? And they're not needs, they're wants. Um, I do need to get my gecko some new stuff for his enclosure, though. That's a need. Not because I need it, because... He needs it because it, I don't know, because he doesn't have anywhere to sunbathe, okay? And he needs somewhere to sunbathe. Um, and now we decide, do we give her blue eyes or do we give her yellow eyes? Because I always switch. I don't know if you've seen me draw her before, but no matter what I do, it's always, it always switches every five seconds. So I think, I think we do yellow today. Like yellowy orangey ones, just because I change it every single time I draw her. So, why not? 
because I can't decide which one looks nicer. They both have their reasons for looking nice, you know? And do we give her silver or gold hair accessories today? Because I also always change that. Maybe, I don't know, silver? I feel like that would go more with what I've given her today. I literally change this every time I draw her. She never stays the same. But you know what? That's funny. Because you know what? She's just a character that I made up. End of the day. And when you make up a character, you can change them as much as you want. Right. Last step. Wet pan. I don't know what the brand of this is. It's hybrid, I think. I don't know. I just read the first thing I saw on it, to be honest. If you're wondering what brand of coloring pencils I'm using, I'm using Arteza. And the markers I were using are a really cheap and shitty brand, so I'm not even going to tell you what I use. They're just get nice markers. <laughs> right. Next drawing. I can't draw hands. I mean, it's not like you can even see the hand anyway. You can only see like that much of her. Hold on. <laughs> Now you can see more. <laughs> Still can't see the hand though. So I don't know why I'm putting so much effort into it. It still looks terrible, just in case you're wondering. Just in case you're like, I wonder how this hand looks. <laughs> Not good. What? What does her nose look like again? <laughs> oh god, why do I keep picking characters that I can't remember how to draw? She is at this nose now, even though that's definitely not her nose. You know for a fact she has thin eyebrows. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing something. And I don't fucking know what. I also drew her bangs wrong and I'm only realizing that now. But you know what? She's trying out a new style. <laughs> <laughs> Watching this is like, oh, why did I click on this video? <laughs> Because you knew how brilliant this was going to be, duh. Okay, there's your second drawing of the day. Because the first one was in camp, okay? That one did not happen, okay? What are we going to draw next? Oh, now, now they really look concerned. This is, this is me whenever like I see a relative that I haven't seen in ages and they're like, Do you remember me? And I kind of like these chill videos. Because, like, I can make mistakes and I don't have to, like, start again or whatever. Um, but also, like, I realize that you guys might get sick of seeing, like, all my blunders and fails. Because um, I, I understand there's quite a lot of them. Should I be trying to make this look aesthetic? I'll try to do little it's and bits to tie it all together, I guess. It's in bits. I'm trying to be careful here because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if it looks good in real life, it needs to look good on camera. Where is the creamy color? You, yeah, peaches and cream, cream, same thing. Why is this called like peaches and cream? And why does this have like such a creative name? And then there's other ones that are literally just like blue. Who else? What else? Where else? Sorry. My recording cut out. I'm telling you now, you shouldn't expect anything great. I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Good thing I do keep an eye on it. Because if not, we'd be seeing some bad things. Well, not seeing some bad things. You'd be seeing nothing, is what I mean. You know, and then you'd be sad. Because you'd miss out on all the amazing commentary that comes with this channel. Duh. Someone out there is just shaking their head in disappointment at me. And you know what? I don't blame you. <laughs> kind of want to do this with watercolor, but I also should probably keep this in the lane of coloring pencils. And I don't know how well watercolor. This paper's great for gouache. That's what it's great for. Not necessarily watercolor. And definitely not markers. <laughs> you can tell I do watercolor. You can tell my favorite medium is gouache and watercolor when I color with coloring pencils, can't you? It's fine. 
I'm definitely doing it the wrong way. There's definitely someone shouting at their screen right now. It's fine. If you're shouting at your screen right now, this is my formal apology to you. Um, I don't know how coloring pencils work. So, you're going to have to forgive me because I'm going to keep doing it like this. Yeah. My professional grade quality videos that you guys all love. Please. Pretend that they are anyway. <laughs> I mean, you guys love me so much. Me and my 33 subscribers over here, we're vibing. And it's not my fault if you're not vibing with us. That's a you problem. I do love these coloring pencils, though. They're really vibrant. I don't know if you've noticed, but they are. They're very vibrant. Very cool. Very snazzy. Aren't they? Where's my yellow? The yellow I was using, please, because we want to keep this cohesive. Yeah, from what I can tell with what, with coloring pencils, you like do all like your details, and then you go over it in like the lightest color from that to blend it all out. That's what I can tell. I don't know if that's actually what you do, but <laughs> you know, it's not necessarily what you do it's probably not what you do um i need pot colors um but you know if you want to give me tips in the comments i never use coloring pencils then you can go ahead and do that i should probably put back some of the coloring pencils actually that would probably be step one video cut off again but i almost murdered my poor 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 monkey Apparently, I only have five minutes to record this shit anyway. We gotta go. Plant. What else do we do? What else do we do? We only have five minutes. What do we do? Um. Um. Oh god. Um. Another plant? Let's do another plant. We're freaking out right now. Um, this is what happens when you have no storage on your phone. So what plant should we do next? I like this one. Well, that's too complicated. I should not change my mind. I like this one. Yeah, but I, I do have a lot of stuff planned. It's just a matter of when I get to start doing the stuff I've planned. Um, because I also have a very busy summer ahead of me. Um... So, you know, there's not necessarily a whole lot of time. And then I'm into fifth year, so then there's even less time. But, you know, we'll figure something out. I'll do something with you. Um, our fight, I may start soon as well. Um, I haven't. Um, and I always do it, so we'll do that eventually too. Let's get to... Okay, two minutes. Shit. <laughs> I like how you can tell which drawings have had references and which ones haven't. Listen. We don't like references in this house. <laughs> Just kidding. If, you, if you're drawing, use references if you need a reference. If you don't need a reference, good for you. But most people probably will for most things. It's always good to have one. Even if that reference is just yourself. I <laughs> only one minute to do the rest of this recording. Yeah, I think we'll leave the spread here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. So, bye. Um, oh yeah, Irish word of the week. Um, good question. What is the Irish word of the week? Um, shall we say fadog? And that means flute. Yep, yeah, anyway, bye.